What's up everybody? I figured I'd do a really quick video today. It feels like it's been forever since I did a video for you guys here. Um, but this is something super simple that I found with Solidity and something that, I mean, it was so simple I couldn't believe that I didn't think of it. You know, one of those things that you guys might be watching going, hey, this is like so easy. Um, but I thought it was kind of kind of interesting when I saw it. So um, hopefully that helps some of you guys out too there. One of the things I kind of find not difficult not difficult but frustrating to work around sometimes that you can't use a console log statement in solidity right because there's no console to log things to obviously we have this transaction window here and if you're working with real contracts it can be difficult even if you're working on something like truffle or some type of fork network or a test network here it's difficult to really when you deal with more complex contracts something that we all do as developers if you're dealing with javascript you log stuff to the console right to see what's happening to see what's coming out to see if a number is being processed properly here if you see you know maybe who's calling a function where it's coming from um if you're using python it's a print command in solidity it's a little bit different from here it might not be what you think here so i had this contract from here and man it's super confusing i got all these function keywords i don't know what's happening i don't know what's going on here super complex super difficult contracts from here if i wanted to add statements in here to log things at different times here i would just use an event and the event is very simple here. I'm going to name this log, and it's going to be a string, and we're going to say message from here. Now, what this means here is now that I have this event log from here, I can go to any point here, and then I can just say emit a log, and we can just say something like um, got to store function, All right? And on this function from here, I could say, you know, emit, you might emit this log event here. And we could say something like, you know, retrieve was called. Now, if I wanted to log out a number here, things would be ever so slightly different. I could do it event log number. And what do we want to log? We want to log a uint 256, and let's just say number. And at this point here, we could log out the number, right? Let's say uh, uh, emit the log number, and we're going to log number and what's wrong with that there e where's the e store num what do we do wrong there sometimes remix gets a little bit overzealous I'm not quite sure what's going on there okay there we go i told you sometimes the compiler gets a little weird there um, but anyways let's go ahead and deploy this cool and if i call let's just call this top function from here Let's call, uh, let's store number 88. I can store that. And then in this transaction block, I can view the logs, right? I can view got to store function, got to store function from there. It's not as easy as just logging something to the console, but this definitely is helpful, right? Or if I wanted to say, retrieve the number, well then guess what here? I can look at this block here. I can say, oh, that, you know, that was called right there. And this helped me out a lot when I was working with the Uniswap V2 pairs. I was trying to figure out who was calling the contract because the client wanted to um, take fees at certain times here. I wanted to see if it was the router calling it, if it was the pair calling it, or if it was from the sender, different things like that. So it's definitely helpful. And then knowing different things at different times too, right? Like if I call add one to number, well, we can see that at this point right here, even though the number right now is 89 because we added one to it, this was called, this event was called beforehand. So if like, you know, things are failing because of the revert at certain times here, it's nice to be able to have that log to be able to, to just pull from, right? And if I retrieve the number, you'll see now it's 89 because we added one to it from there. So I hope that's helpful for you, for you guys here. If it definitely, if it was helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. I'm almost at hundred, hundred subscribers. So, uh, I'm uh, you know, on the come up for, for YouTube here. You know, PewDiePie, watch out. <laughs> Just kidding, but have a great one, guys.